creative arts is so embedded in, in what we do that it's actually quite difficult to, to label a significance. It's, it's, part of, it's, it's part of the bricks of the place. We put a lot of our, our, our resources into developing the creative arts in the school. Particularly in first in music, um, we're a very strong music school and uh, it, you, in the sheer number of students who are involved in music, well over 40% of the children now learn an instrument in the school. An interest in the creative arts gives two children a certain additional confidence. Uh, and For example, when you see uh, a youngster who can get up with a flamenco guitar and play to 960 students on a Monday morning, you know that that particular child has really achieved something. There is a, an inbuilt expectation that pupils will participate in, in some of the, the creative arts side. And there's so much music that goes on for all kinds of ability levels and very few things that you need to audition for. So if you've got the will to be there and you've got the commitment to be there regularly, then you're in. It brings with it its pressures. Obviously we're having to expand our music facilities. Likewise in drama, we're about to rebuild our theatre. Uh, and particularly I think in dance, which has been a real growth area in the school, we have a, a custom-made dance studio now. Uh, and a growing number of students, boys and girls, are involved in that too. Okay, well done everyone. The extra artistic things that, that we have going on, yeah, they're really significant. The place would not be the same without those things. That level of additional confidence that uh, creativity in the arts gives you is really valuable and something we've put a high price upon.